think we going through something now with this race for president. Oh, the polls don't look this or the this or that. It is always a process. Well, I don't know if we can elect a black president. We elected and reelected a black man whose name we didn't even pronounce right for six months. A process. When they got out toward the Red Sea, they started hearing the chariots coming from Egypt. And the folks that was praising Moses. See, you ain't been no leader till your own folk turn on you. You ain't made no progress to the ones that were cheering you starts jeering you. To the ones that was patting you on the back, stab you on the back. When they start believing any lie and any rumor, that's when your leadership is tested. They turned on Moses. And Moses didn't know what the Moses had to look to God. God said, don't worry about it. I'm going I'm to do something. I'm going to test you. Sometimes when things happen, it ain't the devil. Sometimes it's God testing you. And they started screaming at Moses, Moses, what did you do? Bring us out here to die? Wasn't there enough graves in Egypt? And they come with a conspiracy theory. And when they were at the verge of everything amiss for Moses and the Egyptians almost there where they were, God said, now stretch out your rod. Now, Anderson, some folks fit miss this. God could have moved the Red Sea. He could have moved it from here over there and they walked through. But God sometimes wants you to go through the Red Sea. Somebody here this morning trying to get to the other side of their problem. Sometimes you got to go through your problem. If you don't go through your sea, you don't know that God can part the waters of your sea. If you ain't never been through trouble, you don't know if you can get through trouble. But if God brought you through some stuff you never thought you'd get through, if God had you survive when you were ready to give up, if you walk through the waters and the waters backed up, you can thank God this morning because you know God all for yourself. When they walked through, got on the other side. When they looked back, Pharaoh's army was coming with their chariots and their horses. And they looked and said, wait a minute, here they come. But the reason I know, archaeologists say we can't find an evidence of that. The reason I know God was in the plan is when Pharaoh's army got mid-sea, God clapped his hands and drowned Pharaoh's army. reason I don't worry about my enemies is God promised if I don't forget, if I don't have selective amnesia, if I don't forget that he brought me when I wasn't supposed to get through, he broke through. That he'll make my enemies my footstool. You select to forget. You want our well, that ain't no use talking about all that we, that, that's yesterday. No, no, sometimes we need to talk about yesterday. Sometimes we need to talk about what we've been through. Sometimes we need to sit down and tell our children how hard it was to get through. 
You try to hide what you've been through. You need to tell your children, life wasn't no crystal stair, but God made a way for me anyhow. And it's not only racial. It's not only community-wide. It's individual. I say this, I sit down, some of y'all in your personal life have selective amnesia. You weren't always saved and sanctified. You weren't always where you could pay your bills on time. You weren't always living in a nice house with a nice car. God brought you from the muck and mire. God picked you up and cleaned you off. Don't forget what God did for you. To tell the story is to praise the God that made a way out of no way. I tell my daughters, last 13 years I'd hosted a TV show, but I remember growing up in Brooklyn on welfare. We had one TV. And we'd put the little cellophane paper on the top, on the screen. That's how we had color TV. Put the little hanger in the antenna place. Mama on welfare when daddy left. I used to have to be at the post office box, the first and the 16th to get our check. Used to go shopping with food stamps. I don't have amnesia. But when I walk in 30 Rockefeller Center to do my TV show, and I think about where God brought me from, I think about how teachers I had in public schools said I'd never be nothing going nowhere, and now them teachers sit in their old age and watch my TV show. Uh -huh. I think about I was at the White House at a state dinner and they let the press come in Anderson and spray the room for a while see who's with the president and the foreign president state dinner and everybody all tucked seated up and all and I looked in the press grouping and there was an old reporter there from New York used to write about me in negative terms and he looked they taking pictures and he got near me, he said, I can't believe where you come. And I said, yeah, but you know, my mother used to make me read that scripture that he'd prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. If you be faithful over a few things, He'll make you ruler Amen. over many things. Amen. So I don't choose to come forgetting. Hmm. I use Moses' admonition lest we forget that we didn't get here by ourselves. And I come to Lily Grove to tell you whatever you think of where I am in my life and my journey, I didn't get here by myself. Amen. There was a God that made a way out of no way. And I didn't make it off no charisma. I didn't make it off no strategy. I made it because there's a God that sits high but he looks down low. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I'm his own. He's been fooled when I was hungry. He been watered when I was thirsty. He's my rock, my sword and shield. the middle of the wheel he's 
is the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He woke me up this morning, started me on my way. Yes, 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 yes. In my life, I've had to cry sometimes. In my life, I've walked alone sometimes. I've been lied on, cheated, talked about. I've been mistreated. I've been up. I've been down. I've been leveled to the ground. I've been stabbed. I've been prosecuted. But through it all, through it all, through it all, trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I, 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 I've learned to depend on his word. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes. 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 You know, when I came in, I'm trying to sit down, but I got to tell you this. When I came in, I heard the choir singing. I wish I could sing like that. One of the lead singers could go up a couple of octaves, but God didn't give me that gift. But sometimes, Terry, in the late midnight hours, after my cell phone stops ringing, after the doorbell quiets down, I go out in my living room all by myself and I sing my song. I can't sing with the young folks choir. I can't sing for the morning soloist, but I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eyes, his eyes, his eyes is on the sparrow. I, 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 I know watches me yeah 